It was a library quiet night, and all the people of the town were sound asleep in their lumpy beds under the watchful gaze of the brilliant white moon. Albert blood gingerly ran across the slippery rooftops and the half-submerged chimney pots that poked out of the black water like broken teeth. Albert had not been to this part of town in years, but could picture the scene below him as if it were yesterday. The old King's Head pub and the comforting smell of stale beer. The post office and its elderly queues, the betting shop and its nicotine-stained ceiling and tiny blue biros. Such simple 20th century institutions, erased by the flood and preserved for posterity for future generations to discover like cultural archaeologists. As Albert teetered on the edge of the last visible chimney pot, he felt a strong breeze on the back of his neck. The inky water that surrounded him started to cut up, and a strong swell of ripples broke the velvety surface. Then he heard it, the deep tremolo of the rotary blades as the metal whirlybird crept up on him. He thought he had evaded the attention of the midnight security patrols, 